Um, biggest takeaway, I want to congrat congratulate uh, Creighton. Uh, they, they came here, it's a tough trip. Um, they endured a lot of adversity uh, with the game ch changing twice. And they found energy and they outworked us, especially in the first half. Um, yeah, it was just a tale of two halves. The first one, we came out really flat. I think it's probably the worst um, half of soccer at home that we've played that I can remember, which is very disappointing. Um, uh, after you know coming off those losses and, and, and knowing that this was a really important game, I uh, told the team at halftime that 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 half broke my heart. It really did. It it there was nothing about Xavier soccer that showed up there. Um, we looked like a bunch of individuals. Um, we got outworked, um, and thankfully the the. One big takeaway is that at least we responded at halftime, came out in the second half and um, did a lot to try to, to try to get that equalizer and, you know, had a couple flurries right in front of goal, one that we hit the crossbar twice softly and, um, you know, more often than not, uh, people find goals in those moments, but, but we weren't able to. So you guys came back out at halftime and a lot of, with a lot of energy. Um, you had those few flurries. Are there a lot of positives that you can take from that or the things that you're going to build on that you saw? Yeah, I mean, the main positive is I think we just reached into our DNA or what I hope is our DNA and that we'll compete and um, we're going to make really, life really hard for you at this place. And uh, it, it felt like a Xavier soccer game at home. The bench was great. The bench was electric. Um, every player that we put in, I think, had a, made a contribution. You know, Olivia Lawson was called for, she got a straight red with probably about 20, 25 minutes to go. And the best opportunities that we created were down a man. So we went down a man the last 25 minutes of the game and probably got off eight to 10 shots and, and tons of chances. And that's, that's, that's something to be proud of. It's something I am proud of. Um, can we build on it? I hope so. I hope so. Um, you know, we have, we have good players and um, we're not missing a ton, but it's everything that we're missing right now is connected. You know, and it starts with just dedication and, and being brave and uh, wanting the ball and, and not shying away from the big moments. Then kind of turn around quickly and head to DePaul. How do you kind of put this behind you and move forward as the season goes on? Yeah, I mean, this is going to be a tough one that's going to challenge us. You know, like we had to scratch two players, three, three players that practiced yesterday weren't able to play today, um, including one or two that might have started otherwise. And then with Lawson getting the red card today, uh, we're, we're beat up. We're beat up. I think we're beat up physically. I think we're beat up emotionally. Now that's our job as coaches to, to help us put the pieces back together again. Um, I think we're generally speaking a very resilient program um, and we'll take these next couple days and, and get going again. But it's, it's a big challenge. And um, you know, I'm glad we have a little bit of extra time to get ready.